This is Numicon with written methods of subtraction. First, children need to understand the format of the formal algorithm. So, working with numbers that they're familiar with, 8 subtract 6, clearly write the tens of units, 8 under the units, and 6 under the units, with the operation signal signified there. So, we use that with Numicon. 8 in the units column, and take away 6 get in the units column. Now here, all we need to do is take an 8 and a 6 and they, you can see that there's 2 left over. It's very obvious. So 8, take away 6 is 2. And they can see that very quickly, very easily with Numicon. And this is very important for the next step. Because we're going to look at exchange. Where you have twelve subtract nine tens and units. Showing obviously the child writes this out. So it's clear. And we've got a smaller digit which appears to subtract a larger digit, which is impossible. So we need to exchange that one ten in the tens column and put it into the units column. So to do this with Numicon it really shows very clearly how this works. So we subtract the 9 here and you can see that 10 moving into the units column. As we do this we can zip back to the formal algorithm, crossing out the 10 from the tens column and placing that 10 in the units column. And this shows it very very clearly what you're actually doing by transferring the 10 from the tens column into the units. Then it's a very simple approach. You've got your 12 here, that over there, and you can work out how much is left when you remove 9. So in this case, there's 3 left. And children can see that operation very clearly using Numicon. This is Numicon for the written method of subtraction.